today. I hope you're doing well. We are at the Huntington Museum of Art. It opened to the public in 1952 as the Huntington Gallery. And its creation was made possible by a group of visionary citizens led by Herbert Fitzpatrick who donated 435 objects and 52 acres of land. Today, it's the only nationally accredited visual art museum of its size in the tri-state region. It encompasses a premier art collection of more than 16,000 objects, 10 exhibit spaces, an interactive gallery, an art reference library of 27,000 volumes, a 287-seat auditorium, two outdoor tropical and subtropical plant conservatories, a coral reef aquarium, two outdoor sculpture courts, five studio workshops, and two miles of hiking trails. It's accredited by the American Alliance of Museums and serves thousands of patrons a year and has welcomed visitors from all 50 states. And if you want to come up, the address is 2033 McCoy Road in Huntington. It's above beautiful Ritter Park. You can actually, as you drive up here, some very stately homes and you can look over the entire city of Huntington. As soon as we start, we see um, it says Master Artist Program represents Sarah Heineman, and you can see her different artifacts. I'm not going to go through everything. This it would be just too much. But this is some of her artwork. It's very beautiful. It gives the year that she made it. I don't know if any of it's for sale or not. And I was told she just came in here, so I will ask her if any of it is for sale. I'm sure an artist would love to sell their wares. So we're going to walk on through. And this is more of Sarah's artwork. This is the glass collection. Isn't that beautiful? This is glass. Now they have it numbered. I need to find out. See how they have it numbered? Nine, ten. So we'll find out where it's made. There are cases and cases of art glass. And what you would need to do is come and scan the QR code and it will tell you every piece of glass and where it was manufactured. I'm just gonna kind of walk through and let you see some of it. I did see some Tiffany over here, so I wanna show you the Tiffany. There's just cases and cases of glass. Blinko glass is from West Virginia. There's Fenton glass. So there's different, uh, some different glass manufacturers, but look, these are Tiffany, you can tell. No doubt about it. Isn't that pretty? No mistake in Tiffany. Look at that ball. The iridescence. They've taken the books up that you could look through. That's why they have the uh, QR codes that you can scan to tell you exactly what's in these cases. Looks like carnival glass. There's just so much, we're just gonna have to walk on through just want to give you an idea of what was here. This is a courtyard that I'm looking at. There's a huge chest set out there. You probably have parties and different things out there. So we're going to go on up. I'm seeing some old masters as well. This was painted in 1885. It says young man in a fur hat. And I cannot pronounce the name. This was 1886, painted in 1886. I'm just gonna show you the labels. So maybe you can make them out. There's a lot of paintings here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. We're gonna walk on around. This looks like some abstract art. I'm not much into that. This 
This was painted in 2005. I don't know if this is Frankenstein or just the way this person sees people. It's called The Office, 1963. Wood cut on paper. And this is the Tuma Near Eastern Gallery. It shows a lot of metal work, very old metal work. This is Trey with the scene of the Last Supper late 19th, early 20th century. Lacquered box, 1757. And then there's some arms and armor from that time. This is interesting. The Damascus room. Now this is figure of Aphrodite, Egyptian 120 to 140 AD. Now this is a room of firearms. These are dueling pistols that they used to use. They're, these are old, old antiques. Look at those antique guns. This is when they used to duel to settle arguments. They're kind of doing that again, aren't they, at gas stations? <laughs> Target and hunting guns. Look at that. Gun maker as craftsman. Oh my goodness, look at the carving. Men who made the gun, Remington, Colt, Smith and Wesson, Winchester, and it has a picture. There's Oliver Winchester, Daniel Wesson, Horace Smith, those are from Smith and Wesson, Samuel Colt. It says, is it, I can't, is it Elephant? <laughs> Elfont, Remington. Don't laugh at me, y'all. <laughs> These are guns from the Civil War. Martial arms used in the American Wars. Look at these old period photographs. Daguerreotypes. Sorry for the glare. These are powder horns. All kinds of different powder horns with the writing on them. It's called Scrimshaw. I've seen that on the Antique Roadshow. It's very, these are very um, expensive. A lot of them are made of whalebone. Now we're outside and we're going into the Fred Edwards Conservatory. This aquarium. Looks like they have two fish left, but beautiful reef. And this is tropical. You can feel it in here, it's warm. I'm just gonna walk through and let you take a look. It has each of the trees labeled to what they are. You just feel like you're in a different world here. It's 
some very unusual plants. Look at this glass sculpture. Isn't that pretty? It's all made of glass. Just walk on through. I know you don't want me to read the names of, well, that does say stinkwood. This is a stinkwood tree but everything is labeled. Of course not indigenous to this area. It's from like this agave tequila plant is from Mexico. This must be experiments. driving down from the art gallery, but I wanted to show you some of the odd, unusual, stately homes that are up on this hill above Ritter Park. They're just beautiful. Just want to give you an idea. Someday, what I'm going to do is just drive through Huntington and take a picture of some of the houses and just let you guys see it. I don't know if you can see that white house back there in the background. It's huge. Let's see if I can get a picture of it right here. Well, not really, not too much. And look at this one. I'm gonna pull in here. It's incredible. Look how old it is. It's 1860 McCoy Road. I've got to Google that. I wanna see what it is. It's very old, very beautiful. You can see the white one coming around this way in the front of it. These houses have been here for years and years and years. And this, I don't know if you can see, there's Huntington down there. You guys are probably just seeing a bunch of sticks. And it's not that these houses are big, it's just that they're old and magnificent. Don't know if you can see that one. And this one is for sale. And look at this one, it's up over the mountain. You can see down over the city. Isn't that unusual? Rather scary. Down there's Huntington down there. And this is the other side of that. Um, it's like a Frank Lloyd Wright house. It's it's number ninety. I'll have to look that up on the internet too. Can you see this one? This says Ritter Drive, it's private, but look up there at that, that concrete house. That's amazing. There's some unbelievable houses up here. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed our time today. And as always, God loves you. God bless you. Until I see you again. Bye.